Hello everyone and thank you for watching. This is Adrian, um, or as my channel says, Rhetoric Man. Um, this is going to be my review of my comic want list from last year, 2018. Um, kind of just an update of how I did on it. And then also I'm going to uh, introduce my comic want list for 2019. I wanted to get this done. I know it's, it's kind of late in the year. Not late in the year, but it's late in the month already. Uh, the end of January. But I'm going to be going to a Comic Con... Um, Cal Comic Con tomorrow morning, and I really wanted to have my top 10 list ready by then. Um, so I thought I might as well present while I'm at it. Um, so if you ha if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do that. And if you have if you're not listening to um, our podcast, which is the Four Horsemen of Rhetoric comic podcast, please check us out on iTunes or SoundCloud. Um, it's a podcast that takes a different character, movie, or storyline once a week and really just kind of dives into its cultural importance, um, cultural significance or social importance. And there's usually a lot of debate, um, as, as stated by the, by the rhetoric. Um, yeah. So if you want to hear a grown man getting wild about whether or not Spider-Man needs to be nerdy or not, please check us out. So without further ado, my comic want list for 2018. Now I'm going to go ahead and go up little by little. My number 10, so again, this is my top 10, sorry, was Hellblazer 27. Now, uh, with this list, and with my list this year too, I make sure to have a few keys that are pretty attainable, um, and something that's not going to be too expensive, and it's going to kind of go down as the list goes down. Or, if it's not expenses, it's more like my probability of getting. And this was actually the first one that I was able to get on my list, and I did get it. As you see here, Hellblazer 27. Uh, this is a Neil Gaiman story. It's just a short print run, which I, well, I think it's kind of hard to get. And it was one of the harder issues. And it is one of the harder issues of the run to get. Um, and it does have the insert intact as well. So that was pretty cool. So check on that. The next one, number eight. Saga of Swamp Thing 25. Cameo appearance of John Constantine. And I did get this right here pretty good condition I actually got it in a trade um, I traded at a con I don't remember where sorry <laughs> um, it might have been kamikaze no that was kind of late uh, one of the cons in the summer I don't remember anyway that is a check next one on the list Number eight, Uncanny X-Men 109. Uh, first appearance of the Vindicator. And yeah, I got that. That was actually one of my later acquisitions. Uh, I think it's like in November I got it. Uh, I got it at Frankenstein's. And I, I've been, I had been wanting to get it for a decent, fair price. And I had just been losing and losing and losing all these eBay bids. And I finally bit the bullet. Um, I saw a vendor. He had it for sale for 28 bucks, um, And he had had it for a while. And I keep coming back to it week after week. Um, finally, I asked him if he would go down on a price. Um, I, I bought a few books from him, so he agreed. Um, and I was able to get it for like $20, $22 or something like that. I kind of regret it, though, because after that, one of the people that I buy from very, pretty often, um, he had a copy that he was selling for 15 And I was just like, oh, great. And I didn't really want to get a second copy. Number seven, Zap Comics number zero. And I did not get this one. This is one of two comics I did not get from my top ten want list. Um, honestly, I just... There's so many printings of this. I really want the first printing. But it's kind of too expensive. Or at least too expensive to me. Um, and I just started realizing that I didn't want it as much as I thought I did. And other books that aren't on this list took precedent over that. Um... So I didn't get it, and it's not going to really. It's probably not going to be a comic that I put on my 2019 list. It's just going to be a comic that if I do find, and if I uh, find a good price for it, I'll just, I'll just buy. <clears throat> Next up is uh, number six. Oh, well, you can't see number five. Teen Titans number 23. This was the second book I believe that I got for my top ten. Um, I found it at one of my LCSs, but one wasn't enough. I found a second one for pretty cheap on uh, in November on Black Friday, and I got this one as well. So I got two copies instead of just the one. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
Next up was Batman 635, um, which is the first appearance of Jason Todd's Red Hood. You might have seen that if you saw my top 50 comics. I did get it. This was my most recent acquisition, very, very, very late in the year. Um, yeah, still fresh. Pretty cool. Uh, next up was on my list number four, Miss Marvel 18, first full appearance of Mystique. And uh, Bittersweet, I did get it. Very, very poor shape. Um, but the good news is I got it for free, so that was pretty cool. Um, I was at a con, a vendor accidentally um, started pulling the tape on the top of it when he, went, when he wanted to show it to me. And he was like, you know what, man? You can just have this. It's kind of ruined. Um, and I was like, uh... And I was like, okay, well, great, of course, thank you, thank you so much. It was a free comic, can't complain. Um, I'll upgrade at some point, but for now, meets my requirements. Number three, uh, I messed up there. Um, X-Men 50, first appearance of Polaris in costume, and I did get that again. That was on my top 50 list, if you'd seen that. <clears throat> so two more to go. And as I said before, there were two comics on this list that I didn't get, the next one being... Batman 234. Now again, um, just keep getting beat out on eBay for this comic, um, and there's just I just haven't been able to find one for a price that I agree on yet, um, and it just proved to be pretty difficult to get for me, unfortunately. Number one uh, was a comic that I didn't think I was gonna get. New Teen Titans number two, and I did get it for a crazy good price. Um, again, for those of you that buy comics on eBay, which hopefully, if you're a collector, I th all of you do, um, I was just up late, late one night, maybe like 2, 3, 4 a.m., probably not, probably not 4, probably 2 or 3, and, um, checking out the newly listed, I saw someone had posted this for 30 bucks, um, I emailed them really quickly, asking them, are you sure, like, uh, not, I didn't say are you sure, but I said, so it's the comic that's pictured, correct? I didn't get a reply. It was 3 a.m., and I'm like, man, if I wait until until the morning time, this is going to be gone. So I just went ahead and bought it on Buy It Now for, like, 32 bucks. Um, the next morning, they did email me or message me back saying, yes, it's the book that is that is um, listed, that is pictured. But I already bought it, so it didn't really matter. And, yeah, it came back. It was pretty great. Um, so, yeah, that's my top ten list. Eight out of ten. Ain't bad. I'm going to go ahead and show you my next version of it, or my, sorry, top 10 list for 20, no, 2019, and in doing so, sorry, i got to flip this over, uh, I'll kind of talk about what I'm looking for this year, so this year my list has changed, obviously, and I have decided not to bring any over from my last year's list, so I'm not going to be really hunting for Zap Comics num uh, number zero. Again, if I find one, even like a later printing, I'll buy it, but I don't think it's worthy of my top ten list, um, just because it is pretty easy to find. And um, Batman 234, I'm not going to be putting on my list, um, just because I was deflated by doing that. And um, if I do find it, though, for a good price, especially tomorrow at the con, I will get it, but uh, it's not on my top ten. So this is a brand new top ten list for 2019. And um, there are there were some comics that I bought last year that weren't on my list that probably would have made this list if I had not bought them, um, but I did. So, yeah. Thinking long and hard about this list for number ten, I chose Alias number one, first appearance of Jessica Jones. So that's my cheaper comic on this list. Um, and hopefully. What I'm looking for is about $30, so that's kind of my limit. So, And I know it's a really low limit, but that's kind of the point. My point is to get these comics at a price that I, fi that I feel is fair, um, and not just fair, but like worthy of the hunt. Um, I, I can probably get a raw copy for this 50 bucks easy, no problem, on eBay every day. Uh, so 30 I think, is a good, it's a good number. Probably 30 raw. Um, 50 CGC 92 higher. That's what I'm looking for for this one. Uh, number nine, Marvel Premiere 47. Um, that's the first Scott Lang in the Ant-Man costume. Uh, it's an iconic cover. Um, I'm not really even a big fan of that character. I just really like that cover. Uh, what I'm looking to pay, probably, 
Uh, and again, this some people might say this is kind of like lowballing, but for me, it's really just the hunt. Um, again, probably the same thing. Raw thirty, CGC fifty. <clears throat> number eight, creatures of the id. This is kind of a cheat. Um, I cheated on this one. Creatures of the id number one and graphic music number one. Uh, creatures of the id number one is the first appearance of Madman, uh, Michael Allred creation that I love. And graphic music number one is his first appearance in color. So kind of like the whole San Diego Comic Con and Next Man thing for Hellboy, but for Madman. Uh, for creatures of the id. I would probably be willing to pay, again, 30, 40 raw, and this is a harder copy, harder comic to get. I've only probably seen two in the wild. Um, and graphic music number one, I'm looking for about 10, 10 raw. Um, I would do CGC Creatures of the Id number one, 70 for 9 no higher, and graphic music, I'm not really looking to get it CGC'd. If I did, it'd probably just be like 20, 25 bucks. Uh, that one's usually cheaper to get. Number six, Uncanny X-Men 95. Uh, that is the second full appearance of the team in the title. So first appearance is Giant Size X-Men number one, first appearance in title is 94, and then uh, second appearance in title is 95. So it would be third appearance for a lot of those characters. Um, and the death of Thunderbird. Spoilers. <laughs> um, but anyway. Uh, raw, again, 30 bucks is kind of my limit on it. Um, and I've seen it for that price. I've, I've seen it for 30 35 mid-grade, which is fine for me. Um, and I, I don't really care to get this book CGC just because none of my other X-Men comics in my collection are CGC, so I wouldn't want to break that consistency. <clears throat> number six, Mr. Miracle, number one. Just a character that I'm really loving. Uh, it's a Jack Kirby creation. Um, Tom King did an amazing job on that 12-issue maxi-series. Um... What I'm looking to pay. This one's a little difficult because I have I have been really seen it go for too low, but then again I don't want to break the bank on it. And again, like I said, it's part of the hunt. Um, I'd probably go raw, 45, 50, if it's a better condition. And I know that's kind of low sounding. Um, CGC maybe 80, um, but again I'd, I'd prefer a raw one for 45, 50. Um, this one's kind of weird. Number five, DC Comics presents number twenty-six, and it's weird because I had a copy of this. I I bought it, I had bought it last uh, year, and again on eBay, um, and it was like the same, kind of the same situation as the new t the new Teen Titans thing, where I just saw a really a really cheap newly listed one. It was like thirty bucks. Um, I ended up selling it right before the Teen Titans show came out for about a hundred. Um, but I, I am having a little bit of seller's remorse, <laughs> but still, um, so I, I'm putting it on my list, DC Comics Presents 26, first appearance of the, the new Teen Titans, Cyborg, Raven, and Starfire. Um, what I'm looking to pay for this, I paid about 30 bucks last year, and I know there's a little more hype on it, but honestly, my number in my head, topping out, is probably 50 bucks, um, for like a higher mid-grade. Um... And if I were to go CGC, 80 again. Um, and again, these might be low, but that's what I'm looking for. And I did see on eBay one going for like, um, I think it was for like 15 but it was really, really, really beat. And I just couldn't, couldn't get it. I couldn't bring myself to do that. Um, next up, number four, Green Lantern number nine. Uh, pretty awesome Silver Age comic. Um... It is a orange cover, which I love, and second appearance of Sinestro, first appearance on the cover. Um, I've seen a few, especially on eBay, go for buy it now for about 50. Um, I would like to get a nicer copy, and 50 is probably where I'd push. That's about my limit, um, and I don't really care to get this CG seed, just because it's an older Silver Age, and I don't think I've, I've I haven't even seen one. CGC on eBay, so I'm not really expecting to see one CGC in person. But if I can't find another con, 50 for a, a better, maybe 40, 40 higher is kind of where I'm looking. <clears throat> Number three, X Men 28, first appearance of Banshee. This is one of the Silver Age issues that I am missing that I really want. Again, orange cover. Um, uh, I have seen this 
lower lower to like low mid grade for like 40 bucks which I think is fair which is good um, I'm looking to pay about that about 40 bucks for a lower to lower mid grade um, again I'm not looking for a CG seed copy just because all my X-Men stuff none of it is CG seed and I don't really want to break the mold on that so yeah and again as you can see I'm not really looking to spend too much on these 45, 50 is kind of the highest I've gone. Number two is Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, number 106. Um, this is where, like, the cultural importance comes in, social importance stuff. Also, um, this is the issue where Lois Lane becomes a black woman for a day. Uh, super controversial. It's just something I've always wanted, and I've seen, but it's never really been the price that I've wanted it for. <clears throat> I'm looking maybe $40, $40 raw, 40 50 50 at, like... 50 if it's a really nice copy. Um, and graded. Again, maybe like 80. Um, but we'll see. And my number one pick for this year that I really want is Strange Adventures 180. Um, his first appearance of Animal Man. I have his first appearance in costume, but I do not have his first appearance. And I I think I've seen a few of them. Um, in most recent memory, I saw one at a con for about 35 bucks, but it was really, really beat. Um... And I've seen it for that price twice. But since then, I haven't really been able to see any. And I feel like I've seen like the same eight on eBay getting relisted just because no one's really buying them. They're like 75 bucks. Um, but I, I'll probably be willing to spend about 50 for a nicer issue, nicer copy. Um, yeah, 50. Maybe CGC, I'd go up to 100 if it's good enough, like 5.6. 5.0, 6.0, 7.0. Um, but yeah, that's my top 10. And I do have, on the very bottom, my Grails, which I don't consider my top 10. They're kind of like separate, which is Giant Size X-Men number 1, Hulk 181, and X-Men number 1. I've been pretty close on getting these two, on the Giant Size and Hulk 181. Um, there's a place I go to um, who are offering layaway plans, which I might do. Um, but Giant Size X-Men number 1 really is the comic that I'm looking for tomorrow at Cal Comic Con. Ah... Uh... And that one's just kind of difficult because I'm bummed about how much it's been skyrocketing in price because of the Marvel Fox deal. And I should have pulled the trigger on one. It was maybe, but it was really early in my comic collecting career. It was probably four years ago. Four, three and a half years ago. Uh, there was a copy of Giant Size X-Men number one, complete, but water damaged. Um, Might have been able to be helped by a pressing. But I was offered 300 on it, and I really regret get, not getting it. Um, since that day, I have not been able to find one for that price, and that's kind of the price I've had in my head. Um, for that point, up until about two years ago, that was my number. That was I would always take about three to 400 with me to a con, just for that reason, just in case I found a giant size number one to drop 300 on it. Uh, have not been able to find one for that price since at any con. Um, so I had to bump up my price the last two years to 400 in which I have found some, but they're just not in the condition that I find to be very fa favorable. Um, so this is going to be my first time going to a con with my set limit of 500 for a Giant Size X-Men number one, and that is my limit, 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 limit. Um, for a mid-grade, maybe like a raw 450, um, which I think is fair. And a lot of dealers will probably think that's just that's too low, but I don't think that's too low. Um, anyway, Hulk 181, I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get tomorrow with that limit. And X Men number one, definitely not. But those are always my grills. That's not going to change. So again, thank you for watching. That was my want list for 2019 and what I acquired for my want list 2018. So I'll keep you guys updated as I release monthly hauls. And other than monthly hauls, what I'm really going to be doing on this channel. It's just kind of showing off uh, storylines I like, covers I like. I believe the next video after this um, will be my monthly haul of February, which will, pro which will most likely just be Cal Comic Con stuff. And also, um, I'll be putting up a video of my favorite orange covers, since I do love that color and I feel like it really pops. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the YouTube comic community. I, I watch a lot of your guys' videos, and I, I really enjoy them all the time. So, peace. See you guys later.